Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I wanted to sit down and film a more casual video today. I know a lot of you guys like the kind of more just chit chat and sort of have a conversation with one another videos. So that is what today is going to be all about. But we are also going to be trying a product. I got sent a um, face cleanser quite a while ago. I am not proud to admit how long I've had this product sitting on my counter. However, I didn't feel like it would be appropriate to do a get unready with me if I hadn't actually gotten ready that day. So today was the day that I happened to do my makeup, so I figured it would be appropriate to film today's video. Like I said, I've had this box sitting on my counter forever. We are finally cracking into the product, so I'm hoping to try the product with you guys today, chit chat, sort of update you guys. This is the update video that some of you have been kind of waiting on, um, but we'll talk more about that. Let's go ahead really quick check out these products oh okay so this is from honey honey Jarrett, and it looks like there might be three different things in here uh so the first thing comes in a package and it's the beaut super beauty mask rose i'm assuming oh i thought there were maybe lip masks i was like they're a little big for lip masks you wouldn't see why i would think they might be lip masks but um, they are fa facial masks, but I do believe that facial masks are really, really hard to give like a genuine review about um, to say like, yeah, this definitely works. I wanna try one today. I haven't tried a face mask in a really long time, but to be able to say like, if it works, I'm not going to be able to, but to say if I like it, I should be able to. It's like we have a cleansing, um, cleansing whip. Clean Whip Cleanser, let's get that right. It effectively removes dirt, pollution, makeup, creamy bubbles, makes skin stay bright, nourished, and perfectly balanced. No, it's cruelty-free, skin safety certified. The packaging, actually, the print that the packaging uses on the bottom, it says that the um, printing is using a harmless soybean oil ink, which is pretty cool that they're being super environmental with the packaging as well. The top has the logo. I don't know if you'll even be able to see that. It's the same color, but it is kind of raised. So the packaging is pretty minimalistic. Like this doesn't necessarily jump out at you, but um, I don't mind minimalistic packaging because I feel like the product should speak for itself. So we have the cleanser and we also have a clean cover cushion, semi matte cushion with mild formula for sensitive skin type. Cushion foundation that delivers excellent adhesion, high color. Oh gosh, is this, I'm gonna crack into this product first because if I'm gonna go ahead and clean my face on camera, I'd rather test this out. So as we test the products today, I'm just gonna chit chat with you guys and sort of update you about what's been going on and mainly what my um, community posts had been. Um, I'll try to take some screenshots and throw them up while I talk here if you didn't see them. But I first posted, my, my very first post was about a family member. Um, I don't like to bring anyone onto my channel that isn't comfortable at all. And like, I don't really even like asking. Like never have I really ever, like my friend Amber, yeah, like I've asked to do videos before or something or like TJ because I live with him. Um, but you know, I never really, I'm not like, oh, you wanna be my YouTube video because I know how uncomfortable it can be to be on camera. I've done it for over 10 years. So like now it's kind of just whatever to me. But I never try to bring in my family's um, anything into my channel unless it's wanted. So when my, when a member of my family was going through something really, really difficult and all I could really do was watch, um, it happen, I reached out. Um, YouTube has always been an outlet for me, even though I've been kind of distant as of recently. It, it honestly, it comes down to two things. And one of those things is my newborn. The second thing we're going to talk about to, in today's video. Um, but it's always been my outlet. It's always been somewhere where I went to. So I felt like when I really just needed to like talk to somebody, I came on here and made that post. So that was the first thing. It had nothing to do with like TJ or me or anything. It was just my family. And I just, I really didn't know again, like what to kind of do or say, or just, I, I just needed to feel like somebody was out there listening. Second post 
I honestly feel like I have to go back and read it at this point. Um, oh, I think I was just saying something along the lines of my life <laughs> completely falling apart. However, I worded it. Back in April of this year, so, well, this might be posted in June. It's the end of May, but in April of 2020, my life turned completely upside down. Um, something unexpected happened I, I, and I hate to not talk about it because like what I'm referring to isn't relevant anymore like it's not going on anymore um I've overcome it and I've grown from it and I've s moved on past it but my whole life basically got uprooted back in April really quick quickly love the packaging of this foundation even though I again don't think it's gonna be the same color and Oh my gosh, is it a foundation? I am so confused. What? Okay, so it looks like maybe they sell the compact separately. So it has the logo and then you open it and then it's like an empty, like empty <laughs> pan completely. But then it comes with this, which I'm assuming is the product itself. Oh, how fascinating okay that was a little like powder puff how crazy that this comes packaged separately i've never ever ever seen that so it has a plastic cover on top as well so again number one light vanilla um do i just i'm gonna close that for a second do i just press okay it looks like it might go in this way Oh my gosh okay how cute okay I really do like this packaging um, and then you can open it like this so let's go ahead remove the film see what we're actually working with oh okay so it is like a cushiony foundation I want to see how light it is I have stopped tanning um, but it is getting very hot and I do tend to get a lot of color because I'm outside a lot. I still am rather pale, but you might see me get um, naturally tanner throughout the, the summer. So we'll see what happens. But I'll press my little, it's, it's weird. It's almost like, that's such a strange texture. I don't even know how to explain this puff, but we're just gonna. Okay, I'm not a fan of the puff. And the foundation is definitely too light. It, I'm a little bit stuffy because of allergies, so I apologize. It definitely has kind of like a cosmetic-y smell, so it's not like a perfume. I don't know, but the um, foundation actually feels like it has a little bit of a tack to it, which might sound like a bad thing, but one, to be honest, if you powder it, it might actually just make your foundation stay um a lot longer so i am i honestly i want to reach out to, to this company and be like hey foundation was too light would you mind sending me maybe a couple shades darker because i would genuinely love to do like a maybe a full face because it looks like it has nice coverage um and i get i'm just curious about like the, the stickiness would that go away once it's powdered um i'm not a huge fan of puffs anyways i just wanted to try it for the product but this one is just too light for my skin so I can either hold on to it and use it if I am doing a look where I need a lighter complexion um, or even maybe keep it as a concealer if I end up liking it and maybe just use my beauty blender to dip it and apply. I don't know, I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to play with that but I really liked the packaging. I do, you know, the concept of this is cool that you can take this out but I don't 100% understand it. Is it supposed to make it um, cheaper for the consumer where you only have to buy like the compact ones and then the, like the, the little inserts? So my life had been pretty much completely uprooted to the point of where I felt like I had to just like get out of this house. I felt like I just wanted to move and get a fresh start and just, I felt like every part of my life was just crashing down completely. And I had just, I just wanted to move. And that's why you'll see in like some upcoming vlogs, some videos, like my background is like, my wall is empty. I went through this phase of just, I tore 
not every room, but my kitchen, like I just kind of tore the walls down. Like I took everything off the walls. My bedroom is completely empty. Like I just got rid of my furniture. I just want new furniture. I got like a new comforter. Like I just felt like I needed a new start. Um, so I was going through, I'm going to start taking off my lashes, by the way. I was going through some just crazy emotional roller coaster stuff. Um, and that's also part of the reason I wasn't posting because I feel like I wear my, how I feel so well that I didn't want to be like disingenuous to this. You guys, if I felt like I couldn't post, I didn't want to have to feel like I had to post. Sorry, <laughs> baby was crying. Um, so yeah, so I felt like my whole life was being completely turned upside down and I just needed a fresh start. So I just started kind of tearing everything apart and um, kind of just going about my way. By the way, this is just a pretty pink, like a light pink patch packaging once again with the logo on it. So I'm curious to see, oh, it has a little safety seal. Oh, I, I literally just got up to get makeup wipes and where the heck did I put them down? So I, I felt like I was going through a crisis. My whole world was just crashing down. And once again, YouTube is my outlet. So I felt like that's kind of where I felt like was safest to turn i guess so i just want to clarify like nothing's going on what was going on is not no longer like a thing anymore um everything's fine like my family's fine i know a couple of you had reached out and you know i i i'm kicking myself for this now because i never want you guys to like question my family's safety at all my babies are doing great and tj's doing great like we're all great but i just felt like after a post like that like it wouldn't be like fair for me to not come on here and address kind of what was going on the thing is i didn't really address much much of anything just i wanted to clarify that just some serious 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 stuff was going on in my life a month ago and i just i didn't know how to handle it and but everything is okay. It, like, am, am I still moving? Does that raise more questions for you guys? Am I still moving now that I've like torn apart my kitchen and sold half of my stuff and <laughs> um, basically tore apart my, my uh, <laughs> bedroom as well? No, we're not moving right now. Um, to be honest, I would love to move. I would love to have a home that is not, doesn't need so much work. Um, I would love to be in a home where I can just like, like, I don't know if you've ever lived in a home that's like just unmaintainable, like, um, you know, it's constant dust because of all the construction we've been doing upstairs and, um, you know, it's hard. Like I would love to move, but one our house prices are projected to go up next year, which, you know, isn't guaranteed, but a chance that I'm willing to take so I think TJ and I are just gonna like kind of buckle down and take the next couple of years I guess when we're like 30 we're we want to move um but we're not gonna move far because we want to keep Ella in the same school system we don't want her spending the next like three to four years developing friends basically almost being done with elementary school at that point to then take her away and I actually moved when I was in the fifth grade and I hated it. I hated starting over, finding new friends, and I don't, I don't want to do that to her. So I'm not really in a rush to move because it's not like the area will change, just more so like my home environment. With all that out of the way, I just want you guys to know that everything is like good. Just a lot of, again, just a lot was going on in my life at the time. And um, I just wanted to wait until I basically filmed today's video to sit down with you guys and hopefully just clarify maybe a couple questions that you guys have. If you still have questions, um, feel free to comment because I will put this on my, well, shoot, um, I was gonna say I was gonna put this on my second channel so that you guys were able to comment, but I feel like this channel definitely reaches more of you. I keep thinking I see a face and it keeps freaking me out. I have a perfect view of my kids' rooms for here and like one of her Barbie dolls' hair, the way, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, it looked like a face in the dark and it kept like driving me nuts. Anyways, I'm gonna wet my face a little bit um, to start this cleansing process. Oh my goodness, how long can I ramble on? Jeez. Oh, this is pretty. The color is very like pearlescent. Oh, I wish I wasn't so stuffy. Smells like a cleanser, but not. I swear to God, my house is haunted. 
Oh, am I sitting on something? Oh, that was weird. I was sitting on a lighter <laughs> and it was like hissing at me. Okay, oh, I need more water. Definitely one of those kind of cleansers that you need like to work in a sink <laughs> and not just with like damp hands because it is kind of hard to spread around when it's not that wet. Obviously in a perfect setting, I'd be doing this in my bathroom over a sink, not showing you guys and throwing off my white balance incredibly, but we are here today to do a review, so. Um, it's not like foaming up or anything. Clean whip cleanser. I don't really understand where like the whip comes from. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing like fancy going on on my face. <laughs> I mean, it smells decent. It smells like a cleanser, but like it smells like a cleanser that they try to make smell good. You know what I mean? I, w I wanna see if it will leave my skin feeling like really, really dry. So let me just rinse this off and I'll be right back. So my husband is down here <laughs> now. In case you hear, how'd he go down? How'd he go down? I don't know. What happened after I left? Oh, I just kept crying, so I walked away. I was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he went down great. He's fine. Aw. Good. So I just came back from washing my face, so there definitely is a little bit of that tightness, but not anything overwhelming or not anything that I've never experienced before. Um, also, the reason, I just want to let you guys know, the reason that I used a makeup cleansing towel before I reviewed... I am not yelling. You want to hear yelling? I don't. <laughs> The reason I used the makeup towels before I reviewed a cleanser, which might sound really stupid, but I was just trying to follow my everyday routine. I don't think it's fair to base a cleanser off of how well it works if it can't clean as well as a cleanser that you use a makeup wipe before. Like if I'm going to use a makeup wipe and a cleanser, that's how I wanted to review it. So. You know what? I actually don't think I can show alcohol. I think I'll get to monitor. That's definitely being cut out. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep the clip of him showing you his little thing of Jack because YouTube is sensitive. Um. <laughs> but anyways, yes, my, my face feels super clean. I do really quickly want to go over my face with a makeup wipe just to see, like, did it leave a ton of kind of residue behind. I might get stuff from like my eyebrows and my eye makeup. That definitely, like in the morning, I always have to kind of wipe that clean a little bit. That is mascara, but it doesn't look like I'm seeing any Can sort of residue. Wipe? What do you mean? For what? A face. <laughs> You're not allowed to use cleansing wipes after your incident. I'm gonna use cleansing wipes on my arse. <laughs> you did. I knew. <laughs> Felt tingly <laughs> afterwards. My makeup wipes are kept near the toilet. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, you confused these with baby wipes. It looked like an <laughs> wiper. I'm sorry. <laughs> you like my <laughs> burning. What did you buy? Oh, the clean. Oh, Don't of... waste these. These are expensive. Oh. Ew. Stop. This is my sunburn. I Don't. How you tan instantly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so annoying. It actually is stinging on. I'm a lobster or a ghost. It's still technically burnt. But look at how it's already browning. I need to match my face. Yeah. I've been out in the sun. <laughs> Nobody invited you to this party. This is a party for one. Don't. T stop. Stop. Don't make a mess. TJ. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead real quick. Use this. You want to use a face mask with me? I have two of them. No. Why? And they're for review. They're not lip masks. They're just rose. Don't. I just cleaned my face. <laughs> Don't. Don't. What was that? What was oh. that? It can't... Oh, ew. I'm like, what just, ew. just not you? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Don't. I just washed my face. Stop screaming. Actually, go ahead. Let me see if it can remove cupcake. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. Ew! I see it coming out of me. <laughs> Ew! It's like, it's like watching something be born. <laughs> Scarred. Oh, it's pink! That's cute. What gave you the inclination it wasn't gonna be pink? Um, every face mask I've ever used was <laughs> never pink, even based off of the packaging. That is cute. 
That's really cute. He it does absolutely so well. nothing, but... By the time I put him in his chair, he even fuss, and, like, he could pick up his arm and do this, like... Aww. That's the point that I try to get him to now. If he's if he doesn't do that, he well, stays up, because I don't, I don't mess around anymore. Like, okay, you're not tired enough. Let's go on a run. Aww. Who do I feel like? Oh, my God. Wasn't there... Did you ever see Austin Powers? Wasn't there... What movie am I thinking of? Somebody uh, does this. Oh no, it was like baloney or something. Dumb and Dumber, maybe? Somebody puts baloney on their face. Maybe Miss Doubtfire. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, this is, <laughs> this feels so gross. Mm. Ew, it's been a while. Ew. For the record, I have the brightest, ugh, taste, Disgusting. I had the brightest light on and I'm surrounded by windows, so I'm sorry for the people that I terrify walking your dog at night. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's gross when I go in my mouth. It includes a Stelsem booster. It helps remove the dust dust particles on your skin. I don't know, it just says it's for brightening and calming and it allows the skin to stay moisturized and rejuvenated. I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here because you guys don't need to sit here and wait 10 minutes for me to rub this into my face when I take it off. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review and kind of update. Um, I'm sorry that I've been so kind of distant. I love you guys and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.